Hi, my name is Chris Rainey and this is our second expert tour focusing on the Easy Matrix die cutter. Ultimately, one of the reasons that a customer upgrades from a cylinder type die cutter to an Easy Matrix is to get full waste stripping capability. So in this expert talk, I want to explore the options for waste stripping and the different tooling types that can be used. Firstly, let's be clear on what waste stripping actually means. The goal should always be to remove as much of the waste as possible, including the sides and the back, like on the sheet here, and obviously we want to remove all of the internal waste. With some layouts, it may be necessary to leave the side waste on to help better support the sheet. This will be determined by the layout and the speed that you want to run. I'm going to start here because whatever tools you're going to use, you will always need a central stripping board that is cut like this with openings matching all the pieces of waste that you want to remove. The central stripping board here is cut by laser and this is clearly the most accurate way to do it. Of course, a central board can also be cut using a router or even a handsaw which would also be fine. Looking at the tool in more detail, you'll see a couple of key things that should be noted. Here, you'll see the centerline notch, which ensures correct alignment of the tool in the machine so that it will be perfectly aligned with the cutting die. On the underside, you'll see the quick lock bars. These are the bars that secure the central stripping board in the machine. These are typically made by the die maker in wood like these to reduce costs. However, it is also possible to use metal bars like the ones in the front for more rigidity and sometimes a simpler application when the waste stripping holes may be rather large. On the Easy Matrix, the supporting frame is built into the machine, so we need to lock it in place like this, reaching into the machine. On all our other die cutters, the central supporting frame pulls out of the machine and so access to lock up the frame is a little easier. This is the upper quick lock stripping tool which can be made by your die maker. All the pins mounted on the board have been positioned for the most reliable removal of the pieces of waste. And the pieces of wood here, or you can equally use sponge, are there to hold the sheet flat prior to the stripping tool pushing down on the waste. Two details I would like to point out are the centerline block here. If I lower it down, you can see it a little easier. This is the centerline block right here. And then also these support nuts here in the center of the tool, which help support the tool in the middle and, and ensure it is held completely flat in the frame. As you see here, it is quick and easy to lock this tool in the upper quick lock frame. Now let's look at the two other alternatives for the upper stripping tool. The first is a wooden upper stripping tool that has been locked in a conventional stripping frame. This tool is essentially like the quick lock tool that we just looked at, but without the features necessary to use the quick lock system. The only reason that you'd really buy a tool like this would be if you did not have an upper quick lock frame with your machine, but you still wanted the top tool to be built by your die maker. This pre-make ready table is essentially a replica of the stripping station in the machine. It allows us to build an upper and a lower stripping tool using stripping pins, thus giving us total flexibility. Of course, this takes time and organization, but to use the stripping capabilities of your machine without buying dedicated tooling, this table can be an essential part of your organization. Here, you see the upper universal stripping frame. In this frame, we can mount supporting bars and from these bars, as many stripping pins or pieces of sponge as we need to match the layout. For the top frame, we adjust the position of the pin against the printed sheet that shows the job layout. In this way, all the pins can be accurately positioned into the places that they are required. Once the setting of the pins and the sponges is finished, we raise up the frame in order to take out the central board with the layout sheet mounted on it. This allows us then to 
move to set the lower pins. Using either the top stripping tool that we locked in the frame or a top tool that we built using stripping pins like this one, we can now turn our attention to setting up the lower pins. We leave the top tool in the frame, remove the central board as you saw, and then we can rotate the table. With the table in this position, we have easy access to what is actually the lower stripping frame. We can then position lower pins opposite the, each of the upper pins accurately and with perfect alignment. You will note that the lower pins are sprung and this not only ensures that the waste board is held firmly between the upper and the lower pin, but it actually allows the upper tool to come slightly below the board line in the machine. The reason that we do this is to positively draw the waste pieces below the line of travel of the sheet to ensure reliable waste removal in the machine and to eliminate the possibility of waste getting carried through the machine. Once the lower frame is set up with all the pins needed for your job, it is ready to be mounted into the machine. In a normal and efficient production environment, the Make Ready operator will be working at least one job ahead of the production schedule so that the tooling is ready for the operator to immediately begin the changeover when his previous job is finished. Finally, I would like to mention the use of dynamic stripping tooling. The concept of dynamic stripping tooling is to eliminate the use of bottom pins entirely. Through careful design of the central stripping tool, with restrictions built in and special upper pins, the waste can be punched out effectively without the use of any lower pins. While this can be achievable, we do find that in many cases, a few pins may be required to ensure reliable removal of some pieces of waste. Even so, if a setup can be made with just a few pins positioned and mounted in the machine, then a lot of time can still be saved. This is certainly something to consider depending on the different layouts that you would like to run. If you would like any further information on the Easy Matrix, please contact your local post press specialist. Thank you for watching and thank you for choosing Heidelberg.